I was sent this electric bead spinner by Tilham. I'm not sure if that's how you say it or not. And it works via USB. And it comes with the actual spinning machine itself. A little prop here that's quite weighted actually as well, which is excellent to put your needle on like that. And that's what you put inside the actual bead spinner like that. Making sure that you don't touch the back. And obviously you need to put your thread on here as well. That's really easy to go in there. All you need to do is put that in like that, twist it like that, push it into that little groove. Couldn't be easier. Comes with full instructions as well, which I will read. And then I'm gonna see what sort of fun I can have with it. Who knows? So let's see how we get on with it. I've got this bead kit here and it comes really with everything that you need. I will link this one in the description below along with the clay bead spinner. So what I want to do first is get myself a piece of this nylon cord. Can you see that? And I'm going to put a few knots in the end of this. And this is quite an elasticated cord as well. So it will stretch, I think, when you put it on your bead. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread my cord through my little bead cord crimp thing <laughs> you get all the best technical terms when you're with me and these came with the kit so i pop that down there like that now i'm going to put a knot in the end here probably a quadruple knot see i've got a knot there i'll just make that a little bit slightly bigger to finish that off there we go we've got a nice size knot in that now i'm going to trim the end like that and just melt that down as well, just so it sticks to itself and isn't going to come off. There we go, it shouldn't come off now. And I'm going to pull that up to the end there, trap me knot in that bit there, and close that up. And I can put a jump ring or something on there when I'm ready. Now let's cut this cord. Next thing I have to do is thread my cord through there like that. Put this in here like that, so it's... Stuck into that bit there. So we're all ready and set to go there. What I could do with is a little scoop or a spoon or something to get these out. To put these in there. I use a popsicle stick. Now, oh, I know what I want to do. Before I do that, because I want to put a smiley face on each end. What I'm going to do is put my smiley face on first. So that's down the end because obviously I want to make sure that that gets in the right position. So that's in the right position. All I need to do now is pop some of these beads in there. Now I'm going to put that colour in. I'm probably going to do a few different colours just so we can see how it comes out really. So I quite like that colour. Nice bright colour there. And these are just going to come out in a random order which is going to be really pretty. What other colour should we put in there? Ah, oh, black, I think. I don't know how this is going to work, but we'll see. And now we turn it on. It's got a little switch here. Oh, look at them going around there. I wonder how quickly it's going to do that. And then we put that into there. And apparently, they should just jump onto the actual little needle that's in there that I put just in there. Oh, they are, look. Well, it's really popping these on there now like nobody's business. What I've done is I've moved this little needle a little bit closer to the centre and pulled it back a little bit. I think I had it too close to the back and not close enough to the centre and now it really is going quite quick. I really can see how this would save you quite a lot of time in threading these individually and it's so fascinating to watch as well. You never really know what colour's coming next. Black seems to be quite popular but then all of a sudden so does the yellow and then all of a sudden you'll get a few extra blue ones on it. It's a bit like a race. So once you've got that as full as you want it, then you can just pull it out. If you want to add more beads to that, let's hold that together like that. So pull this out of its thing, twist it round, and then all you do is you hold your string so it's not coming untwined. Pull it through. Let's get to the end. And as I said, this is quite elasticated. Is that enough for me, do you think? Let's have a look. No, that's not enough for me. So all I'm going to do is... Pop that in again and let it fill up again. Yeah, once you get it in the right position, it just takes a little bit of tweaking. As long as you don't touch the sides or the back, then you're going to be fine. It actually puts them on there really, really quickly. Although I'm getting carried away, I'm getting mesmerised by it now. Let's turn it off. <laughs> the bracelet's going to turn into a necklace. It's got both my ends on now like that, look. 
And all I need to do is put a lobster claw and some jump rings on that, which I'll do right now. Well, there we go. That's finished. I think that's really, really cool. I've got my little smiley face on either end. If I wanted to put a different charm on it, I could have done. And I think that looks really pretty. I'm going to make some more and I'll show you what I make at the end. <laughs> I'm really pleased with what I've made. So that was the first one I made with the little smiley faces on. Then I made one with the word love in the middle as well. Oh, that was a really pretty one. <laughs> These are cute. Look. These little smiley faces. I made that one too. And then I made one with a little charm on. But all in one colour. Because I thought it would be nice to see how they look with just having one colour. Such an easy thing. Very entertaining. Kept me busy for a couple of hours playing around with these and making these up. I can definitely see how this would be a great gift for young kids to do or adults to do as well with their young children. Like I said, I'll link everything in the description below for the Tilham clay bead spinner and the beads as well. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a fun one to make. Don't forget to boot the like button and hit that subscribe button as well. It really helps my videos and that way you're not going to miss out on any more of my future videos either. Check out the video that's coming up next. I think you'll love this one. If you like beading and you like making your own jewellery, make sure you check out the video that I've got coming up next on how to make my best-selling beaded bracelets. Take care, enjoy your crafting, bye.